was 1972 and I was teaching at Santa Rosa Junior College in Sonoma County, California. Um, and my partner, Susan Alexander, and I heard that they were going to put on The Killing of Sister George as part of a repertory theater. And we were very troubled by that because we'd seen the movie and didn't like it. Because it represented lesbian women so badly. Hello, where the hell were you? Out on a mission, are we? Don't tell me he hasn't touched you. Susan and I decided we had to do something. So we called friends uh, that we knew. We called people who were involved in both the Women's Studies Program and the Gay Students Union at Sonoma State, people we knew from the Monkey Pod, which is a gay bar in Santa Rosa. I was a newly minted lesbian. I was 20 years old. And I enrolled in Santa Rosa Junior College in fall of 1971. I really think I found out about the play through Anne's Women in Social Change class and knowing her as a friend. We formed this group, which was called uh, the Gay Community Coalition, and it was men and women, and we um, read the play. The play was about a woman named June, and she was the butch lesbian, and it was, she was the main character, and she was Sister George. And Sister George was a character that she played on TV. Hello, Sister George. Hello, my dears. How are you then? All right? Hello, Sister George. Next time you're doing any praying, don't forget to put a word into your grammar. And so June, the person, was finding out that her character, Sister George, was going to be killed. They're going to murder me. And she was also in a relationship, if you can call it that, with a woman named Childy. How would I have any other boyfriends with you breathing down my neck? It was an abusive relationship. And what do we do now? I show my contrition. How? I eat the butt of your cigar. That's right. Master, you know the rules. George is bossy. She marches around. She's an alcoholic. She and her girlfriend fight all the time. Their relationship is presented as unrelentingly negative. So, don't George, you've no right. Eventually, George's TV character is killed off, and George, the actor, loses her job. To make matters worse, she's offered a demeaning role in a new children's show, playing a cow. You mean you? want me to play the part of a cow? In the end, George is left with nothing when the TV executive turns out to be a predatory lesbian who takes Childy away from her. And furthermore, if you lose your little girl, it's because you're a dreary, inadequate, drunken old bag. Look at yourself, you pathetic old dyke. Come along, my dear. These were horrible images of gay women. And at that time, there were very few media images of gay women, so we were really upset that these demeaning stereotypes were what the public would see. You're drunk, drunk, appearing to be drunk. What occurred in the play was just so vile, and so, in every cell of our body, we felt so turned off to this play that we we had to do something. We thought about it and talked about it and had meetings about it and got other people involved, both uh, women uh, and men, because it was the beginning of women's liberation. This is very important to what we did. We did not want to have just a gay group where men and women were glommed together. I mean, we would meet in a coalition, but we would meet separately separately and together, which worked really well, because most of the guys, the most conscious, were aware that they shouldn't try to take over, that this was something we needed to do, and it was about less men's anyway. We were the change generation. We came of age with the civil rights movement, the anti-Vietnam War movement, the student movement, 
the women's movement, and the beginnings of the gay and lesbian movement. We were the ones who were saying we are out as lesbians, we are not hiding in the shadows anymore. It was all that era of trying to figure out who are we and what, what do we represent in, a, in effect. And that's partly why we went against the killing of Sister George. We decided that we wanted to stop the production of the play. And so we met several times. We figured out a strategy. So we met with the head of the drama department at the JC. And we also met with the drama teacher. And we also met with the president of the JC. And I believe the head of personnel or student services, something like that. One of our arguments that we put forth is that if they put on any Amos and Andy or Step and Fetch It or something like that, that the Black Student Union would be totally upset. Wait, wait a minute. Then, 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 then why are we less important than black yeah. people as a group? Why are homosexuals right per se less human than black people? And after we argued about what was wrong with the play, um, they, you know, said they didn't see anything wrong with it. And, the, and by the way, the director is a gay man, and we found this quite troubling. What I remember out of that meeting that I will never forget is that one of the men said to Frank, the director, brother, how can you do this as a gay man? How can you put on this play? And he didn't get it. He was a man and he was gay and he didn't get the lesbian life. And it was very sad to all of us. But they were making it clear to us that it really, no, they, we were not gonna force them to give up their play for whatever reasons, including academic freedom. So it was on with the play, the JC decided. And we decided that we would protest the play itself. We picketed the play and handed out literature to people. What I remember is that during the play, we all went to the play, and at intervals, we walked out. So when we walked out of the play, we said things that we were disgusted with about the play. The, the protests during the play all happened in the first 20 to 30 minutes. I know personally I couldn't stand to be watching the play, so I wanted to get out of there as fast as I could. But I also wanted to make a statement. This is one of the things that we handed out to the people who came to the play. Message to all people, straight or gay. The killing of Sister George is no more about the lives of gay women than Amos and Andy is about the experience of black people. Sister George does show demeaning stereotypes about women in general and gay women in particular. It's a good example of the kind of bigotry gay people have to struggle with every day. Also what was important about the protest was what followed. What the college did allow for was for us to put on what we called the symposium. And the symposium was a bunch of teachings, really. And we talked about everything from politics to poetry as it concerned gay men and gay women. It was scary to do for a lot of people because some of the people who were on the panels had never been on a panel before and had never come out publicly. So we were the subject, but we were the subject telling our stories and our life and our thoughts and our history. Everybody was strengthened by the experience because we were taking ourselves seriously. We had a good plan, a respectful plan. We had a clear notion of what was wrong. It was a good experience. It certainly was for me. I think my favorite part was just coming together and organizing and doing it and being heard and hopefully having some influence. Um, it was a really explosive time and I think we were all trying things and doing things and coming from our gut and there were no scripted moments. We were inventing it as we went and we were insecure and we were scared and we were angry and we were determined and we felt oppressed. Oh. Oh. And 
and we knew that we were not going to let ourselves be represented this way and that this was not going to be the kind of thing that would define us anymore. Mm -hmm.